Hey, how's it going everyone? How you guys doing tonight? Today, wherever you're from, this beautiful flipping world. Uh, got a beer. Got a beer. Got a beer from uh, Beer Hounds Beer Reviews. It's the last one he sent me. This is from Brewery X. And they are out of La Pont or Anaheim, California. So that's close to Whittier, which is where I was born and raised. And lived for about 18 years up till I was 18. Yeah, so, um, sure, La Palma Avenue, yeah, they give the address, this is Brewery X, Signature Series Volume 5, it's a pineapple vanilla double hazy IPA, it's 8.3% ABV, cool can art, digging that shit, that's badass, thanks Beer Hounds Beer Reviews, if you haven't See, uh, been to his channel <laughs> uh, please go there and please subscribe he is a cool dude he plays a hell of a guitar as well uh, freaking rips on that shit so um, yeah so yeah, you know it's crazy uh, LA has been getting a lot of rain I remember getting a lot of rain in LA when I was little like in the early 80s I remember putting like, like making little like uh, ships out of paper or put no, it was like a no, it was a straw. So we'd throw straws and let them go down the drain, and like see who was fastest. <laughs> but we used to have a lot of rain. There was a lot of thunderstorms and rain. But anyway, um, I just remember that. I don't know. Back it was probably like eighty two, eighty three, but and then the smog hit. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, smog's been there forever. Um, all right, so Black Lan the Black Lantern is what this is called, I think. The Black Lantern. Yeah. 8.3%. This was canned. Uh, get poked at Black Lantern. Oh, Black Lantern. What? I'm all confused now. Fuck, man. Uh, 125.23 was when this was canned. So let's say two. February the 1st or so-ish, March, April, so about two months, two months old or so. I poured in my Stella Artois glass because it's all the glasses. I only have pub glasses. I've like broken all, or I only have like pint glasses because I've broken all my good glasses. All it takes is one swoop to the hand and you're not paying attention and there you go. That glass just goes away. All right. Damn, excuse my sniffing. All right, so let's keep it at a low. So it looks really good, nice and orangey, like orange, orange looking. It looks like orange juice. It is hazy for sure. Can't see through that at all. Maybe some shadows. I like to go into the nose first but before I look, but it is pouring about a half a finger head. Uh, kind of a gradual pour, though. I didn't go aggressive. White head, bubbly, frothy looking head. Hmm. I get a slight lemon tea kind of like it's bending no offense i'm just saying that's what i get <laughs> um i do get that bending kind of uh like where it's starting to fall out the hops are starting to rid themselves you're getting more of that sweet malty um thing as i shake it around though i get a little better uh, aroma There is a slight citrusy kind of uh, thing going on, but I can't tell exactly what it is. Let me go in the can. In the can, I'm getting a much better thing going on. I get slight orange, tangerine, maybe a slight grapefruit, little candied, um, like tropical thing going on. Sweet candies or something. Pezzy. 
Yeah, so looking back at it, Hazy can't see through it. Nice, nice head retention. Very good head there. As far as the, you know, it's keeping its, it's keeping its head up. Um, kind of where I poured it at, so a little less, but very nice. It looks really good. It's got a nice deeper, um, like a, well, I guess you can say just a, uh, kind of a tangerine orange or kind of an orange, a lighter orange color or something like that. All right, I'm tired of talking about it. Let's touch this thing in the mouth. Cheers. That is totally not what it smells like. <laughs> I get pineapple. I get pineapple big time. Pineapple like um, passion fruit or something. What is in this? Pineapple vanilla. Pine I get pineapple vanilla. That is exactly the uh, the kind of the adjuncty kind of f feel I'm getting this. I don't know if pineapple's probably coming from the hops. Vanilla is obviously an adjunct to like flavoring. Uh, I'm sure. I don't know if they added lactose to this, but boy, that flavor is way banging. Like over like the. Uh, the aromas I was getting more of a band, like it was like banding, like, okay, it's starting to get old. I can kind of see that tea thing. Um, but this, this fucking, this, this is satisfying. Like I kind of like the addition of those, I don't know, the adjuncty additions or whatever's going on. Oh my God. It's like, it tastes like. Pineapple vanilla soda pop. It's got a soda poppy kind of vibe to it. It's fizzy in the mouthfeel. Um, the body is medium for sure. It has a spicy kind of character to it in the finish. Maybe a little bit of grapefruit. Sl maybe a slight pine, I'm not sure. But it really, really gathers up that pineapple vanilla. I mean, this is super freaking gnarly. It tastes good. It actually saved itself with that extra little bit of, of taste there. I mean, I was, I was thinking this is going to be old. but uh, And it might be old, but the uh, whatever flavors I'm getting in this, or older, let's say. But it, whatever flavors I'm getting in this have actually, you know boosted it up and made it kind of like revitalized it zingy zesty mouthfeel you do get a little bit of like a slight malty sweetness kind of a tea thing coming through but that up it's in bitter it's slightly bitter it's a bit bitter but not at all like as bitter as you would think like like a westy or something it's got more of a, like a kind of a East Coasty kind of sweetness. Um, but the, um, you do get that, but you, it, you do get that, uh, that bent kind of feel, but you're introducing this pineapple. They probably put pineapple juice and vanilla in this. They had to have, because I mean, this is like, this is freaking gnarly. It's really good, actually. It's not bad. If I was to taste this fresh, oh my God, super fresh, like right off the bright tank. That would have been freaking gnarly, man. This is gnarly now. It's good. I'm down with this. It's bitter, but it's got a nice balance. Kind of a long review here. Sorry. You are getting other things in there, such as like, uh, you know, maybe some stone fruit, some, uh, some ripe peach or ripe apricot. I'm getting watermelon. I get a little watermelon in there, like watermelon, um, um, oh, what are those fucking candies? Uh, those little tiny square candies. What are those called? I haven't had one forever. 
the watermelon something rathers. Put them in the chat if I can't think of it, or in the comments if I can't think of it. Uh, Jolly Ranchers. I got it. Jolly. It's like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. That's kind of what I'm getting with the pineapple. Maybe a pineapple Jolly Rancher with some vanilla induced into it, like introduced or whatever the fuck you want to say the word. Um, but very good. If this was fresh, I'd give it a hell of a bigger fucking uh, score. I am getting that that tea kind of thing, the you know what I mean, and it's not it's not Bill's fault or anything. It's just how it is, you know. Um, it's just how it is. Uh, I'd probably give this like a. I, I'd probably go with like a. Uh, at the at the moment with the bent, I'd go eighty nine. With with it being fresh, I'd probably pick that up to about a ninety three, ninety three out of a hundred. Uh, or uh, uh, 9.3 hops out of 10 or in uh, 89, 8.9 out of, out of 10 or 8.8 .8, somewhere in that range 8.7 somewhere kind of you know in that range uh, with the bent factor but um, man not a bad beer really good really exciting I really think that if you can get this super fresh this is going to be bomb so cheers thanks beer hounds Appreciate it, Bill. You have a good night, day, wherever you're from in this beautiful world, but not after one more sip. Long ass review, huh? Fucking almost 12 minutes.